Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take the next few moments to talk with you about a common urologic condition called urinary incontinence. In this brief video, I will define urinary incontinence and tell you about the evaluation called a urodynamic study which is conducted to identify the cause of urinary incontinence so treatment can be found to help restore urination to its normal level. Urinary incontinence is defined simply as the loss of urine. The purpose of the bladder is to store urine till it is appropriate and timely to expel the contents in a socially acceptable time into the toilet. Failure to do so and to urinate before you can reach the toilet is called urinary incontinence. Urinary incontinence often requires an investigation in order to identify the cause and it is called a urodynamic study. And the purpose of the urodynamic study is to find the anatomic defect or the neurologic source of the symptoms of urinary incontinence. And what are the symptoms of urinary incontinence? They are leaking, frequency of urination, having to go to the bathroom immediately and not being able to, withhold, to hold on to the urine until you can reach the toilet in a timely fashion, hesitancy or straining to urinate, dribbling after urination, pain with urination, the feeling that you are not emptying your bladder completely. Oftentimes people with urinary incontinence have recurrent urinary tract infections and occasionally people are unable to urinate at all called urinary retention. So what are the tests that are we are conduct to be able to diagnose what is the problem? The easiest one is the urinary flow rate. Then there are the bladder pressure test, which is used to identify when is the first sensation to urinate, the desire to urinate, the pressure generated in the bladder, and what is the bladder capacity, how much urine or fluid is the bladder capable of storing or holding. Also, we would uh, conduct a EMG of the muscles or the sphincter that holds the urine in place and the purpose of the sphincter is that it is to stay closed when the bladder is storing the urine and then it is to relax or open when the bladder contracts to empty the bladder contents and the muscle has to relax in order for the urine to go outside of the bodies. Then there are pressure studies that are conducted to identify what pressure in the bladder occurs when there is loss of urine with coughing or sneezing, what we refer to as stress urinary incontinence. The study also measures the post-voiding residual. How much urine is left in the bladder after the bladder contracts and tries to empty its contents? Ideally, there should be no urine left in the bladder in a normal situation after a man or woman empties their bladder. Let's discuss how the test is done. A small catheter is inserted into the urethra. This is the tube in the penis that allows urine to exit the body or the urethra which is located at the top of the vagina in women. A small catheter is then inserted into the vagina in women or into the rectum of men. EMG patch electrodes that are attached to a small plastic uh, adhesive uh, placed near the rectum and then the bladder is filled slowly until the person reaches their bladder capacity and then the person sits on a commode or toilet 
and voids over a funnel. And finally, the residual urine is measured after the person appears or feels like they have emptied the bladder. So what's the summary regarding urinary incontinence and its evaluation with a urodynamic study? Urinary incontinence is a common condition that affects millions of American men and women. It is an embarrassing condition, often can be a cause of depression and lead to a lack of socialization. Testing can be done in the doctor's office that will often pinpoint the cause and lead one to an accurate diagnosis and treatment is available. You don't have to suffer with depends. Help is available for nearly every American who suffers from urinary incontinence. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to contact me at area code 504-891-8454 or please go to my website www.neilbaum.com. Thank you.